Hi, LG Health and Beauty fans. This is Laura Gregg, your holistic esthetician, coming to you from San Dimas, California. In this video series, we are going to delve into the world of genetics and skin health. So if you're following my posts, you may have seen recent ones on a Beauty Insight genetics report that has come out. It's very new. I recently had my report run and I'm super excited. My test is back and I'm here to share with you all the details of what my report says and how it, um, how I'm tweaking my skincare so that you can better understand how it will apply in your world. Um, there will be a video on the ingredients. There will be a video on the professional services and there will be a video on the vitamins. In this video, we're going to go over basically the report so that you can see what it looks like. Uh, my microphone cuts out when I put my paper in front of it, so I'm going to show you the paper and not do any talking, and then I will pull the paper away and do more talking so that uh, you can hear everything that I have to say. So this first page I'm going to show you is my overall genetics report, and it shows you the six areas that this report keyed in on for skin health. Okay, so what were you looking at? You were looking at my actual report. This is the area that I fall in under each of the categories and whether I'm susceptible, typical, or resilient. And the areas are hydration, elasticity, pigmentation, sun sensitivity, antioxidant, and skin aging. Below, it tells you what each of these areas are and why they're important to skin aging. And then the key down here just says that it gives you um, a topical action plan and a professional action plan. So as we go further into the report, each page is going to be specific for these different categories and give me ingredients and professional services. So mine comes back and it tells me that I am susceptible in the area of sun sensitivity. Okay, makes sense. I typically am a European white girl who gets red in the sun in about 15 or 20 minutes. I could have probably guessed that. But now, based on my genetics report, I know for a fact I am genetically sun sensitive. I fall in the range of typical in the areas of hydration, elasticity, and pigmentation. Honestly, I'm pretty surprised that that came back in the typical range. I would have thought that my um, susceptibility would have been a lot lower in those areas. So that's kind of good. And then I showed up resilient in areas that I thought would have been a little more typical, and that's my oxidants how my body uses my oxidants and my skin, my overall skin aging. They both came into the resilient area, which has me pretty pleased. So as I do these videos that break down the ingredients, professional treatments, and the nutrition, it will, I'm going to focus on the sun sensitivity so you can see how that plays into me now tweaking my ingredients and my professional services and what nutrients I'm eating. So a broken down page uh, for the category, this one's in hydration, and um, I'm not going to go through all the pages just to keep the, this video shorter, uh, but this is what a typical page will look like. It's going to give you what you scored for set, uh, susceptibility if you're typical or resilient. It talks a little bit about what that means again. It gives you your topical ingredients why it works and what age you should start doing the using these ingredients and then professional services for what professional service you should get why it works and at what age to start and then at the very bottom it tells you the gene they actually targeted to run this report and so if you want to do more research you can absolutely do that so i'm going to show you what this looks like
Okay, so each of the categories, hydration, elasticity, uh, pigmentation, sun sensitivity, antioxidant, and overall skin aging is broken up into individual pages and it goes through on every single one and it tells me what ingredients I should be looking for and what professional services I should use to help minimize that those different areas in aging so that I get the biggest bang for my buck basically when I'm using different um, ingredients and different professional services. So it's about a 15 page report. Um, and at the very end, once it's gone through all the different categories, it gives me my vitamins and nutritional tendencies, whether I score low, moderately low, or normal. And as you'll see, I have made some notes in here because I, the, when I'm teaching the genetics class, I use this um, and I wanted to make sure that I pointed out some different things. And I will share that um, little bit of information with you. So it's keying in on vitamin A, your B vitamins, C, D, E, your omegas and calcium. And I scored moderately low in A, B9, B6, B2, and omega-3 and 6. I scored low in B12, and I range in the normal for vitamin C, D, and calcium. Okay, let's make this very clear. This report is about my genetic tendency and my propensity for being low or moderately low or normal. This is not telling me where I am right now in this moment in time. If I want that information, I need to go out and get a blood test through a medical professional and they will test for these key nutrients in my blood. So this is just giving me a jumping on point to start a conversation with my doctor about where I am in these different areas and being able to find the right daily dosage to get that sweet spot in my overall health. What I really like about this, and you'll hear more about it in the uh, vitamin video where I talk a lot about this, is it allows me to have a very honest conversation with my client about the nutrition that they're putting in their body because it is key to overall skin health, what you're eating and what you're putting in your body. So it's kind of cool. This tells you the gene. It tells you, gives you a description of what that vitamin does for skin health. It tells you the recommended daily dosage. If you have a propensity for being low or moderately low, um, what the daily recommended dosage is for normal tendency, whether you should be increasing or decreasing, and your foods that you can find um, all that nutrients in. So what I did when I got my results was I created a list, and it I wrote down every single ingredient that was listed in the report on every single uh, category. And then I went back and I tick marked next to each one how many times it showed up in the report. And I keyed in on a couple specific, uh, the, the top ones that I should really be focusing on to help with my overall skin health. Um, and then I focused on what professional services I should be keying in on, which one showed up the most, uh, especially under the sun sensitivity area. And I did that for the ingredients as well. And then what nutrients, um, I'm moderately low. I could be moderately low or low in so that I can then move forward and um, utilize this test to the best of uh, to the best of its ability. So that's really super cool. So this is the cutting edge newest thing that we're really starting to see a lot more of. I do not know of any other skin beauty insight DNA test on the market. There may be some, but they're very new and um, not easily searchable. Um, so I have started offering this to my clients. They are super excited about it. It takes two to four weeks for the results to come in. It's a simple cheek swab. You can take this test anywhere in the world. So if you do not live in the local area, 
uh, you can get a hold of me and we can get you onto the website and you can take this test and then we can do a phone conversation so that you have a professional on in your court able to help you better understand your report and what ingredients and what professional services and when you should be using them and nutrients, that whole, that whole thing. It's really super cool. So the next couple of videos, I'm going to break down the ingredients. I'm going to break down the professional services and the vitamins so that you better understand how each of those categories plays a role in now being able to customize your genetics and your skincare together to get the best benefit and age gracefully and with your own DNA. Then you don't have to worry about this product worked for my friend. Why doesn't it work for me? Now you actually are empowered with a tool to go out and make the best of your genetics. So it's super cool. I hope you found this video informational. If you have any questions or comments, please do so below and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click the bell so that you get notification when a new video is posted. And if you live in the San Dimas area and you want to learn more about genetics, I'm teaching a class that you can find information on through my Facebook page at LG Health and Beauty. It's going to be the last, oh, sorry, the fourth Wednesday in July and August at 7 p.m. at the LG Health and Beauty Spa. Uh, again, I hope this video finds you really well, and we'll see you all soon. Be sure to watch for the next three videos. I'll post shortly. Cheers.